there is a partially open sluice gate in this rectangular channel due to which the elevation of the water surface changes if we know the depth of water before the sluice gate and depth of water after the sluice gate can we determine the discharge passing through this rectangular channel there is a partially open sluice gate in a rectangular channel which is 2 meters wide the upstream depth is 1.5 meters y1 is equal to 1.5 meters and downstream depth y2 is 0 0.30 meters what is the discharge in the channel so depths near the sluice gate y1 and y2 are given can we determine the discharge passing through this rectangular channel first total energy of a flowing fluid per unit weight is the sum of elevation head pressure head and velocity head it can be expressed in this way e is equal to z plus y plus v square by 2g and in this case energy at section 1 is equal to energy at section 2 since we are assuming no loss of energy so z1 plus y1 plus v1 square by 2g is equal to z2 plus y2 plus v2 square by 2g g is the acceleration due to gravity okay now since the bed elevations at the upstream section and downstream section are same we can eliminate z from this equation right since the channel is horizontal z1 is equal to z2 and this equation becomes y1 plus v1 square divided by 2g is equal to y2 plus v2 square divided by 2g if we uh, take the velocity head terms on the left hand side we will get this equation now discharge is area into velocity area of a rectangular channel is width into depth right and from the principle of continuity discharge at section 1 is equal to discharge at section 2 okay q1 is equal to q2 so b into y1 into v1 is equal to b into y2 into v2 y1 is the depth of water uh, at section 1 v1 is the velocity at section 1 similarly y2 is the depth of water at section 2 and v2 is the depth uh, velocity at section 2 now to obtain the discharge all we need is area and velocity area for area we need uh, width width and depth okay uh, width is already given depth is also given so we need to calculate the velocity then we can easily calculate the discharge passing through this channel now width is 2 meters depth is 1.5 meters downstream depth is 0 0.30 meters velocity head can be obtained using this equation this equation was obtained from uh, the energy equation okay some terms were uh, replaced and we obtained this equation now velocity head is equal to 0 0.05 so velocity at section 1 is equal to square root of 0 0.05 multiplied by 2 into 9.81 meters per second square right so velocity at section 1 has been obtained it is 0 0.990 meters per second okay we have the width we have the uh, depth and now we also have the velocity so we can also we can easily calculate the discharge okay discharge is equal to b which is the width 2 multiplied by y1 multiplied by v1 okay so velocity uh, discharge passing through this rectangular channel is 2.971 meter cube per second right now instead of y1 and v1 if we used y2 and v2 we will obtain the same value of discharge right 
Now V2 can be easily obtained using this equation. This equation was obtained from uh, this equation B into Y1 into V1 equal to B into Y2 into V2. Uh, so V2 is equal to Y1 divided by Y2 into V1. We already have Y1, 1.5, we have Y2, it is 0 0.3. We had calculated V1 before, right? So V2 is 4.952 meters per second, okay? And velocity head can also be obtained if you want to calculate. Now we have the value of V2, so we can easily calculate the value of discharge. Okay, it should be same as this. Now discharge Q2 is equal to B multiplied by Y2 multiplied by V2 is 4.952, right? So we get this value of discharge. It is the same. Discharge is 2.971 meter cube per second. Okay, so in a rectangular channel, uh, if the depths before and after the sluice gate are given, we can determine the discharge. Okay, in this case, the discharge is equal to 2.971 meter cube per second. 